23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones says the earthquake felt this morning across Kern County is in the same location where the 4.6 hit a couple days ago. She says because this one was bigger, Monday's is now considered a foreshock. Now there was also a 3.0 magnitude earthquake that hit southwest of Bakersfield shortly after the one this morning. We asked Dr. Jones if it had any relation to the one north of Ridgecrest by being as far away as it is, it's more like 100 miles away, is too far away to be an aftershock. And it's really more coincidence because threes, as I said, happen every other day um, and are, are not a big deal. For more on what Dr. Jones told us today about the seismic activity and the emergency yeah, alert system, you can head to our website, turn to 23com Representative TJ Cox is reminding small businesses that the deadline for payment protection program loans is coming up. The deadline to apply is June 30th. Small businesses can use the loans to keep employees on the payroll, pay for rent, mortgages, or utilities. Now, as of June 20th, the Small Business Association is reporting that over 4.5 million loans have been given out across the country. For more information, you can head to the Small Business Association website, sba.gov. Disneyland announced its reopening date of July 17th will no longer be happening due to a lack of official guidelines from the state. The park had previously stated it planned to reopen on that date pending government approval with new modifications and health measures in place. However, in a statement, the Walt Disney Company said the state indicated that it will not issue theme park reopening guidelines until sometime after July 4th. The park said the downtown Disney district will still reopen on July 9th, as previously announced with health and safety protocols in place for cast members and guests. And we are still tracking hot weather in the forecast. No surprise there that heat advisory that's been in effect remains in effect all the way until Saturday. So make sure you're staying cool in the heat that we're experiencing. 103 for tomorrow in Bakersfield and McFarland. 105 at Button Willow. 99 in Mojave. 97 at Lake Isabella and over 100 in Kernville as well. So temperatures really warm again tomorrow. One thing that's going to be a little bit different compared to today. A little bit more of a breeze into the evening hours. Some wind gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour in some of our desert communities. Even as high as 20 mile per hour gust in Bakersfield. That's with the Weather system moving in, that's going to bring in a little bit better air quality to moderate air quality expected for tomorrow. 7 day forecast, not too many changes over the next three days. Hot conditions, but then another weather system moves in for Sunday, driving the temperature down and taking the winds up a little bit. Nice by Monday with a high of 86 degrees. 7 day forecast for the rest of our communities here again, staying hot for the next three days, then really dropping off quite a bit. Places like Tehachapi and Fraser Park back down into the 70s. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.